Earth Defense Force 5 is a buggy mess filled with bad frame rate issues, horrible graphics, and does not even have a physical copy. It was made by the Japanese developers Sandlot and has several other titles in the series that are as equally fun as this one, including Earth Defense Force 2017, Earth Defense Force 2025, Earth Defense Force 4.1, and Global Defense Force, along with that tactics game and some other bullshit. The, you can play it online, single player, or two player co-op if you have friends. The game starts off letting you choose one of four characters. Japanese infantry, your standard beta males with assault rifles, shotguns, rocket launchers, and could call tanks and motorcycles. Female, who can fly and has lightning energy based weapon read that is close range. America, with all the artillery, explosives, missiles, and vehicles you could ask for. Or a Zaku from Gundam. You battle through 110 missions of increasingly over-the-top enemies, including giant ants, giant spiders, mother ants, father spiders, Godzilla, Asian hornets, giant War of the Worlds robots, flying drones, giant humanoid clone soldier frogs, Ilamos, bullet hell motherships, and God itself utilizing a ton of different weapons for each class. Each of these are either called monsters or aggressors. In later missions the NPCs call them illegal immigrants since that was their name in Japan, immigrants. The story is simple. You are a civilian on the new Earth Defense Force base that has been open to the public for the first time when an alert sounds off and ants begin attacking the base. A squad of soldiers rescues you with their sergeant, trying to spend 11 missions getting you to safety only for none to be found. You join EDF and somehow save the entirety of Japan because it's a video game. Everything escalates. Within the first six months, 20% of the huma human population dies. By the end of the game, untrained civilians are fighting motherships to stall for time and only 10% of the population is left. Stories mostly fed you visually or over radio comms that your character has access to. The gameplay is a third person arcade shooter. Each mission you kill all the enemies and Sandlot crammed a ton of enemies on your screen this time around, which in normal Earth Defense Force fashion makes the frame rate drop, but if it doesn't drop, you're not playing the game right. Depending on the mission, several NPC AI soldiers are there to help with even friendly tanks and powered exoskeletons soaking and dealing damage which makes the game feel like an actual war is going on. The NPCs chat with each other badly and sing and chant EDF which gives you the feeling of wanting to protect them. Item boxes drop from enemies. A red box for armor which upgrades your health for each class. Green for weapons which give you new weapons or upgrade existing ones. And white for health pickups to heal during a mission. Depending on the difficulty you choose, depends on the item level range for the weapons. Higher tier weapons drop on harder missions at higher difficulties. Speaking of difficulties, the game starts you off with three. Easy, normal, and hard. After you beat the game once on any combination of difficulties, you unlock Hardest and Inferno. The best part about the difficulties is it just doesn't change the enemies to become bullet sponges and deal more damage. Their attacks change and their AI becomes a lot more aggressive. Plus, the higher difficulties have variants of the regular enemies, including a gold ant that can deal 20,000 damage in a one shotgun blast that is three times as fast as a normal ant, and a silver spider that has a lot more health. This game gives the game some extra replay value, though the first 30 missions are quite a drag since the game really doesn't start heating up until later. If you're not a fan of the series, wait until there's a price drop. The $60 price point, you may or may not be happy. I couldn't tell you if the online is currently populated or not, but it's more fun to play with a buddy than by yourself. You can sink a lot of hours into it. The DLCs are fun as well, though not out yet for the American release. If you're a fan of the game, you probably already bought it. Also, fuck whatever garbage Ukes is going to put out for that EDF Iron Rain on April 11th. I have zero faith in it. Kevin EDF, you're a scrub. Get good at this game.
In the mythologies, God descended from the egg-shaped ship. 